The rising seas are creeping silently but relentlessly, climbing higher with every passing year. For much of the world, the threat of rising sea levels is a distant worry a problem for future generations. But for Singapore, it's an urgent and immediate crisis, a ticking clock counting down to possible disaster. This vibrant island nation, home to roughly 6 million people, sits precariously close to the ocean's edge. As global temperatures rise and polar ice melts, the seas continue their upward march. In less than a century, experts warn that a full third of Singapore could vanish beneath the waves. Unlike other nations, Singapore has no hinterland to fall back on, no mountains to escape to only water that threatens to consume one of the world's most advanced and densely populated cities. But Singapore is not planning to surrender. Instead, it's preparing to fight back with one of the boldest climate defense projects ever conceived. Long Island, a $100 billion megaproject involving the creation of three massive artificial islands. These islands won't just act as a fortress against rising waters, but will also transform Singapore's coastline into a thriving, resilient, and futuristic urban space. This isn't merely about survival, it's about turning adversity into opportunity, a nation with nowhere to run. To understand why Singapore is taking such drastic action, we first need to appreciate its unique situation. Covering just 734 square kilometers, Singapore is one of the smallest countries on Earth, smaller than many individual cities. Yet, despite its small size, it's a global powerhouse in finance, technology, shipping, and aviation. But with such limited space, every square meter is precious. Since its independence in 1965, Singapore has been expanding its land area through extensive reclamation projects. By dumping sand and other materials into the sea, it has added about 25% more territory to its original size. Iconic landmarks like Changi Airport, Marina Bay, and East Coast Park are all built on reclaimed land. However, this strategy has not been without controversy. For years, Singapore was the world's largest importer of sand, drawing vast quantities from neighboring countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Eventually, these nations grew concerned that they were literally losing their coastlines to Singapore's expansion and began banning sand exports. This forced Singapore to rethink its approach. But the far more pressing issue now is not space, but survival. Climate change is accelerating sea level rise, posing an existential threat to Singapore's very existence. Scientists predict that by 2100, global sea levels could rise by one meter or more, with storm surges and high tides pushing waters even higher, with large portions of Singapore already sitting less than five meters above sea level. The margin for error is vanishing. Enter Long Island, a visionary fortress. In response to these looming threats, Singapore has devised one of the most ambitious climate adaptation projects in human history, Long Island. Costing an estimated $100 billion, Long Island isn't just about building more land, it's a comprehensive defense system that aims to protect Singapore from rising seas while creating space for future growth. The project involves constructing three colossal artificial islands off Singapore's eastern coast, spanning a combined 800 hectares, roughly twice the size of Marina Bay. Unlike previous land reclamation projects that focused solely on creating land for buildings and infrastructure, Long Island's primary mission is protection. Each of the three islands will be constructed at elevations higher than the existing mainland, forming a natural barrier against coastal flooding. Stretching from Marina East to Tanamera, the islands will entirely reshape Singapore's eastern shoreline. But these islands won't just defend against the ocean, they'll also revolutionize Singapore's water management by creating a new reservoir between the mainland and the artificial islands. This enclosed body of water will eventually become Singapore's 18th freshwater reservoir, further boosting the country's long-term water security, always a key national priority for this resource-scarce nation. A multi-purpose marvel, Long Island is being envisioned as far more than just a protective seawall it's a fully integrated urban expansion that supports Singapore's growth while defending against rising seas. 
The project consists of three distinct islands, each with a specialized role. One will serve as a residential and commercial hub, featuring high-rise apartments, office towers, and commercial centers to alleviate land scarcity and accommodate Singapore's growing population and business sector. The second will become a recreational paradise, tripling East Coast Park's waterfront space with lush green areas, artificial beaches, and expansive coastal parks, offering residents beautiful new spaces for leisure and nature amid climate challenges. The third island will support aviation and industrial growth, expanding Changi Airport's capacity with new runways, cargo terminals, and aerospace facilities, reinforcing Singapore's status as a global leader in transportation, logistics, and trade well into the future. Engineering innovation at an unprecedented scale, building Long Island will require some of the most advanced engineering solutions ever deployed in coastal construction. Traditional land reclamation methods, which rely heavily on imported sand, are no longer viable both because of environmental concerns and limited access to sand supplies. Instead, Singapore will employ a more innovative and sustainable approach, the caisson technique. A caisson is a massive hollow concrete structure that functions as a modular building block for creating new land. Instead of dumping millions of tons of sand into the sea, prefabricated caissons will be floated into position and lowered onto carefully prepared seed foundations, forming the island's outer walls. Once in place, these structures will be filled with ballast materials like gravel, sand, or water to anchor them firmly in place. Each caisson used for Long Island will measure approximately 50 meters long and be crafted from high-strength marine-grade concrete designed to withstand ocean conditions for up to 150 years. The use of caissons not only minimizes the need for sand, but also allows for much faster and more precise construction compared to traditional methods. Over time, the spaces between and within the caissons will be filled with engineered materials, creating a solid and stable foundation for the new islands. Modularity is another advantage of this technique. Because caissons can be individually replaced or upgraded, Long Island's defenses can adapt to future changes in sea levels or climate conditions, providing long-term flexibility that conventional land reclamation simply cannot offer, a giant tidal defense system. The true genius of Long Island lies in its massive tidal control system. Inspired by the success of Singapore's Marina Barrage, the body of water created between the artificial islands and the mainland will be actively managed with an intricate network of tidal gates and high-capacity pumps. Under normal conditions, the gates will remain open, allowing natural water flow and maintaining ecological balance. But during extreme weather events such as storm surges, king tides, or heavy rainfall, the gates will close, creating an impermeable wall against rising seas. Powerful pumps will then actively regulate water levels inside the reservoir, preventing inland flooding even during the most intense storms. Covering approximately 20 kilometers of coastline, Long Island's defense system will act as a colossal shock absorber during extreme events, shielding Singapore's mainland from potentially devastating floods. The enormous cost and enormous stakes. Of course, such an ambitious endeavor comes with an equally massive price tag. Singapore's government estimates that the nation may spend at least $100 billion over the next century on climate adaptation efforts, with Long Island being one of the most significant pieces of that puzzle. Beyond financial costs, there are major environmental concerns as well. Singapore's extensive history of land reclamation has already taken a toll on its natural ecosystems. About 60% of its coral reefs have been lost, and marine habitats have been disrupted by past reclamation efforts. Environmental groups worry that Long Island's construction could further damage marine biodiversity, fisheries, and underwater habitats. In addition, some scientists argue that large-scale reclamation projects may actually release stored carbon trapped in seed sediments, potentially contributing to global warming. Critics also question whether Long Island offers a permanent solution or merely buys time. 
If global sea level rise accelerates beyond current predictions due to rapid ice melt in Antarctica and Greenland, even Long Island's towering defenses may eventually be overwhelmed. A race against time, the Long Island project is unfolding over multiple decades, carefully planned to balance cost, engineering complexity, and environmental protection. The first phase, extensive feasibility studies, environmental impact assessments, and public consultations began between 2024 and 2029. These studies will determine the safest, most effective design before large-scale construction begins. Actual construction is projected to start in the 2030s, with work progressing in phases over the next 20 to 30 years. Full completion is expected to extend well beyond 2050, possibly taking up to half a century before the entire system is fully operational. Singapore's defiant spirit, at its core, Long Island, is more than a construction project, it is a statement of national resolve. Singapore's Prime Minister Li Xin Lung has emphasized that climate change poses an existential threat to the country, on par with issues of national defense. For this small island nation, surrendering to the rising seas is simply not an option. Rather than retreat inland, which isn't even possible for Singapore, the country is expanding outward into the ocean, creating new land and new opportunities in the face of crisis. This bold gamble reflects Singapore's long-standing philosophy, meticulous planning, technological innovation, and an unwavering refusal to leave its future to chance. If you found this journey into Singapore's bold battle against rising seas fascinating, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And remember, while the world faces rising tides, human innovation is rising even faster.